hot chili sauce and it's also got some dried naga peppers in it. <coughs> That's really hot. Yeah, do you like it though? My eyes are still watering. <laughs> <laughs> what, what kind of curry do you normally go for? Medium. It's a little bit hotter than that. We've got extra hot chili sauce. Love it. Does that sell much in your shop? You either get people who just will not touch it, or you get people who absolutely go mad for it. Is it kicking in? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A few people have been saying that it's just way too hot for them, but, you know, it is called Howl at the Moon, so the clue's in the name, really. A chilli sauce like Joe's needs to sell in volume because his margins are relatively low. A £2.80 bottle costs 60 pence in ingredients alone, including maple syrup and bourbon. He makes it at home in Runcorn while playing his beloved vinyl. If I was going to describe it, I'd say hot like a scar tune and kicks like a mule. Oh, wow. Yep, that's spicy. Language teacher Joe now wants to grow his business. I've entered the contest to try and see if the sauce can kind of go to the next level. I think I've got about 700 quid in my bank account, so it's not a lot of money for 18 months' work. Uh, so I haven't lost money, uh, but I haven't made a lot either. To judge how well the sauce is made and talk business, Misha visited Joe at home a few days ago. This is the uh, original recipe, <laughs> which I've had sealed, <laughs> written how on the back charming. of an envelope. <laughs> I made about three or four different types, and then that was the one I thought, that's it, that's how I want it to taste every time. Joe sells locally and at chilli festivals, keeping up with demand on his domestic hob. I can see a pan, a chopping mm -hmm. board and knife. Is that it? That and a blender. When I've got a big chilli festival come up, I get the big pan out, 15 litres, which is 73 bottles exactly. And how quickly are you getting through those bottles? I'm selling about 200 a month. Joe starts by frying onion with four varieties of chilli. So the Scotch bonnet has got quite a fruity tang. Bullet chilies um, are kind of medium or mild. The Asian green chilies are a little bit bitter. And then uh, this is a naga chili. It's got an infamous 10 minute long burn. Chopping these relatively roughly. And you're not de-seeding them? No. no. That's where the heat is and the flavor is. Next, roasted garlic, tinned tomatoes and vinegar are added. Plus that pricey maple syrup and bourbon. When you're at chilli festivals, what's your demographic, Joe? Because I play a lot of kind of reggae and two-tone stuff that there's a lot of uh, middle-aged guys who come, come up to check my records out. But fortunately, middle-aged guys who like reggae also like hot sauce. So with quite a niche product, but still the need to sell in volume, Joe must market his sauce perfectly to make his business viable.